works within the essence of music. And even though music is a, uh, a vehicle by which we present God to people, uh, guess what? If you feel like you are the only person who can present it, mm. then God is going to show you that you're not. That's right. All right, I got some, I got some amens up in here. All right, now. Check this out. Martin Luther. Martin, not Martin Luther King Jr., but Martin Luther. Uh, he, he, in the 16th century, led the Protestant revolt from the Roman Catholic Church, and, and this is why you and I are, are, are whatever denomination of Protestantism that we are. Uh, we are free to interpret the scriptures for ourselves. We don't have uh, the priests who interpret it for us. Uh, Martin Luther said this about, and this was, this was in the 16th century uh, when Martin Luther said these words. He says, the devil takes flight at the sound of music just as he does with the words of theology. In other words, Martin Luther suggests that through this statement that music and theology are synonymous. They go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And he says that therefore prophets should always combine theology and music when trying to teach the truth. Because it's through this presentation of music mm -hmm, and theology that we tear Satan's kingdom down. Lord, have mercy. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Why do we use music to do what we do? Why is music so effective in the church? Why do so many people get saved in conjunction with preaching, but also through music, through song? Well, number one, music is permeable. In other words, it's transparent. It's easily detected. It's easily recognized. You know a song by how it sounds and how it feels. In other words, it's transparent. There's no lies associated with music. Even music with the most deep or with the deepest subliminal thoughts, you can still kind of figure out where it's going. <laughs> Y'all remember back in the day when uh, uh, heavy metal music first really hit the scene hardcore? There were uh, a lot of people who uh, had a problem with it because they said that uh, the heavy metal music uh, uh, had subliminal messages. And if you would play a Guns N' Roses record backwards, you would hear Satan giving you messages and things like that. Uh, because, and the thing that, that, that we learned through that example is, it does not matter how subliminal music tries to be, it's still permeable. In other words, it's still that much transparent. You cannot fool folk through music. Uh -huh. Music was created to be intentional. It was created by God to have a direct purpose. Therefore, music is transparent. I can see through it. It has its own identity. It cannot be uh, uh, diluted. All right. The second thing, why we use music, not only is it permeable, but it's passable, which means that it's transferable. The reason why music is so effective, why does God use music to get to folk? It's because it's a great medium, because there are limited language barriers in music. Music is universal. Somebody said universal. universal. All right. Now. I'm, I'm about to shift modes. I got one more thing I'm going to offer, and then I'm going to shift modes, and we're going to get kind of more in-depth in the word, okay? All right? The last thing. So music is permeable, it's passable, but it's powerful. Music has power. It has influence. Now, I can research scripture, and I can put together what I think is a good sign. But check this out. Something always creates some type of hurdles between me and the people I'm talking to. However, music doesn't necessarily have to have a message, but it just has to have the right beat. <laughs> and the right hook and the right melody. And you will make people bob their head even when you ain't saying nothing. <laughs> And you bobbing your head. 